Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Keystone Passport 221BH travel trailer behind me. But first, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. If you like all things RV, be sure to check out the Byerly RV YouTube channel. If you like that kind of stuff, you can subscribe, click the bell icon, and you will be notified when we put up new videos like this. We do product videos, we do training videos, we have live RV school, all kinds of fun stuff. So check it out and be sure to like and share uh, if you like this kind of stuff. Also, you can keep up with us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and then you will be able to keep up with all the latest news and videos here at Byerly RV. Now, let's talk about the Keystone Passport 221BH travel trailer. So, Keystone RV. Keystone RV is the largest manufacturer of towable campers in the U.S. across all their different lines. The Passport is really been their premier ultralight line uh, since they started building ultralights. We have carried Passport since its inception. This is one of those vehicles that has been built by the same people in the same building for many, many years, and we'll see things that indicate that. But also, it's one of the original ultralights, and in this business, you know, if you look at enough stuff, it all looks real similar, right? Because when you find someone that's doing something right, you copy that. That's what. That's just the way it is. And this is probably the most copied thing out there. You're gonna see so much on here. So this video might even be a little longer than normal, but there's just a lot to cover, so you'll have to stick with me. Now, the 221BH is part of the Keystone Passport SL series. There is a GT series as well. So um, you can check out our other videos, of course, on that. Now, we're gonna start, actually, we're gonna go around the outside first and then the inside, and we're gonna start in back. Let's go. Okay, we're going to start in back of this 221BH because of how cool it's laid out and designed with this storage. And So this is the back. We've got this really nice lockable door in the back. I'm going to open this up and you will see I have already folded this bunk up. This is the bottom bunk of the bunk area. It's folded up to give us a really big storage compartment. This is awesome, you guys, because I could literally, you know, I can, I, could take the front tire off my bike, turn the handlebars sideways and probably fit that in here. All kinds of large things can go in here for while you're traveling. And then when you arrive, you can take it out. I'm just gonna unlatch this and so that way when we go inside, we'll see that it's a bunk, right? And this just comes right down and there's your bunk like that. And notice I still have a ton of storage right here, even with the bunk down. So very, very versatile, right? That's what we want is a creative use of space. There's only so much space and we wanna make sure we're using it as efficiently as possible. Uh, you'll see, of course, we have a spare tire. All, everything at Barley RV comes with a spare tire. There's some little things that you would expect at this point in time. You know, all of our turn signals and tail lights have gone to LED lighting. Uh, we do have a nice, uh, what they call shore power. So I've got a cord that I can store and bring out and use instead of having to try to push it into a little hole. These are little things, but you know, they've been doing this a while and this is kind of where we've ended up with the sum of many little things, guys. So here we've got our, our dumps are right below us here and right above that, this is the black tank flush out. So the passports all come with black tank flush outs. The, there's two holding tanks on here. There's a gray tank for your soapy wastewater from your sinks and shower. And there's the black tank for waste from the commode. Now we use a chemical in there and special RV toilet paper. But at the same time, over the course of years, you can imagine how challenging it is to keep that tank clean. There's sensors in there that tell us how full the tanks are. We'll see inside where those sensors are. Uh, but the idea with this is I can open up that black tank valve and dump that tank, hook a hose up to this and run water into there. And there's like a, a almost like a dishwasher spinning there, spinning there, spraying that tank out and helping to rinse it out. And over the long run, guys, that that's awesome. It, it really is. I've got that on mind. Love it. Um, now. We're gonna move up to the front of what I call the business side of the camper because this is the side of the camper that has things like our dump hookups and our water hookups and stuff like that. So one thing Passport does really well, for a, especially for a travel trailer, is right here in this front compartment, we've got this really nice little water area. It's got a waterproof pan right here that'll drain to the outside. This gives me the ability to bring my hoses and cables up through here with keeping this door closed. I've got my city water connection right here. So if I have a connection at my campsite that I can connect water to and leave it connected, I would connect that here. If I don't, then I've got my fresh water. It says fresh water connection. What this is, is what we call the gravity fill for the fresh water tank on board. So there's a tank on board that we can put water into and it'll hold it and there's a water pump on board to pump the water out and create our water pressure so we can be fully self-contained and that's where you fill it. And it's real easy when it's full, it overflows. So that's how you know. Um, we also have access here 
to our hot and cold running water. Comes with a nice little coiled hose. There's a little nozzle right here, or I can attach whatever I need to the end of this. We're gonna see also there's another place we can connect this too. Uh, above that, there is uh, wiring coming in from the roof. We also have satellite and cable all built in with a booster through this key TV. Um, basically, they just simplified the TV thing where you can plug anything in kind of anywhere. Um, not gonna touch too deep on that on this video. And then above that, all your passports have power stabilizers, okay? So my stabilizers here, all I have to do is hit a button up in this compartment and that's gonna run the front and back stabilizers. Also in this compartment is a charge controller. I've got a solar panel on the roof and to have a solar system, I've gotta have a panel, I've gotta have a battery and in between that, there has to be what's called a charge controller. It monitors the battery and doesn't allow this panel to overcharge it and that is up inside that storage compartment as well. Now, moving around the front, we have dual LP bottles with an auto switch over. We have a really nice lipper components power tongue jack, right? Storage compartment, you know, so one thing about a storage compartment is if the door isn't big enough to fit large items in, then it doesn't do you as much good. So the size of the door allows me to put large items into what is a large storage compartment. This is cool too, guys. Not everything comes with all the cranks and things you like. You know, everything's motorized. The slide out's motorized, the tongue jack's motorized, the stabilizers are motorized. So, I mean, it's like, I don't have to actually crank anything, but if there was a failure, it actually comes with the tools I need to manually crank this stuff in or do whatever I need to do. There's motion lighting up in here, right? So it's off until I open the door and it comes on. I mean, it just, Guys, this is what I mean by the sum of many little things. I think Passport may do this better than almost anybody, but that's what happens when you've been doing it longer than everybody else, and you listen to your clients and you incorporate things as you go, okay? So, right here, that key TV plugins that we saw on the other side are right here as well, so that I could set a TV on a table right here and plug it in. I could put a bracket out here if I wanted to. I've got access to the electrical system right there. And then, moving over, okay, I'm under. My awning, let's not forget about how great this awning is right here, covers my door all the way back to the kitchen, the outside kitchen. This is actually a vent from the inside kitchen to the outside. I say it because not everything has this. Some things recirculate and stuff. We've got outside speakers up there and then an awesome outside kitchen here, right? So two burner stove, nice little fridge and another connection to the water system, guys. So. As you can see, outside the passport, oh, one other thing, look, I almost forgot, there's so much. Right here, see what they did with the axles right here, you guys? Okay, so a single axle trailer, right? This is your pivot point, your axle. If you take a double axle and stick it under there, it takes that pivot point away. If you spread those axles apart, now you have created a platform for this to ride on, which is gonna resist its tendency to wanna to wiggle and things like that, a much more stable pull. You guys, these things are designed to pull well, they're lightweight, they know you're gonna pull it, you don't have to have a three quarter ton truck or anything to do this, okay? Um, the idea, really, with the ultralight travel trailer is what? These guys realize that if they can build campers that go behind vehicles that you already own, this is gonna allow more folks to go do this, and the Passport is absolutely one of the best examples of that. Let's go take a look at the inside. Okay, everyone, stick with me here on the inside of the 221BH Passport. We'll kind of go down one side and up the other like we did outside so we don't miss anything. Now, right here as we come in the entry door, we have our monitor panel up top. This is gonna tell me, like I said, outside how full my tanks are and things like that. I have switches here to control my gas and electric water heater, my water pump, my porch light, my ceiling light. I also have my slide out room control, my awning controls. I've got my theater system right here as well. So this is AM FM stereo with Bluetooth so I can connect my phone to it and listen to my music. It is connected to the TV, which is kind of right around the corner here. Remember, we also had outside speakers on that, guys. Um, I'm gonna pull this out for a sec because I want you to see, you know, one of the themes we're gonna see here in this passport, okay, so the TV's on a bracket, right? So I can move it around for easier viewing, of course. But, you know, I mentioned outside no wasted space and that's so important and you're gonna see that these guys probably do that better than anybody. So I've got a lot of storage behind here. Uh, there's a shelf behind that bracket even, so they built a shelf in there, you guys. So like if I wanted a place to keep my movies or something like that, call me old fashioned, <laughs> to keep the disc movies, right, um, and stuff, but that would be uh, a great place for that kind of stuff. Just again, extra room. Now, 
on that theme of storage, look at this. Right as I walk in the door here, I've got drawers, big drawers. And this, this is one of my favorite parts of this floor plan, you guys. This double door right here, I, I left the other side open so you can see all the way through here. Uh, this is that under the sink area, but being able to open it from front and the back, it's really cool because I can walk in and throw something away when I was working outside, cooking on that outside kitchen, or I can have access to it right here too. And it's really nice because that's big enough that I can have like a recycle and a regular trash bag, right? Now, um, not only do we need a lot of storage space, where you can never have too much storage space, you can also never have too much counter space, right? So they put in a little countertop extension right here to give us even more. We've got a really nice deep stainless sink. We have the residential faucet right here for a sprayer. A nice large window uh, at the galley. I, I love it when we do that. More drawers and doors. I mean, we should like count the number of drawers and doors in this camper, but and we're not gonna open them all, but this one here, this is one to note. Look at how big this drawer is underneath our oven and stuff. That's for my, I can put my, I could put my large electric skillet in here. I could put all kinds of large items in here. This is wonderful. They know we need a place for that. There are campers out there where you start looking around. There is not a large enough storage spot maybe for even your electric griddle that you're gonna take, right? Um, of course, you don't necessarily need the electric griddle when you've got this really nice range. Three burner stove. Uh, we have the uh, oven lighting and things like that. I say that kind of stuff because for those of us that have been around a bit, we didn't have oven lighting not that long ago. So that's really, really nice. It's got the auto ignition right here too. Remember uh, that this uh, vent vents to the outside, okay? now. I just, you guys are probably like, man, you've been drinking Passport Kool-Aid, and maybe I have, because I've been selling these things for so long, but these people even improved the microwave, okay? Look at what this says. Something is missing. No rattling turntable, two times larger cooking service, flat bottom makes easy cleanup, diamond wave technology open. I guess we'll open it. Um, now we're not plugged in, it's hard to see in here, but guys, there is no turntable. This is awesome. So seriously, you don't have the glass turntable rattling around in the camper like all of us do. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to jam things in there to keep it from going anywhere. You have to put it somewhere else. So literally, they even have a better microwave in here. It's great. Uh, very, it's all geared towards camping, right? So we've got a really nice RV fridge, okay? So this is gonna be your, now listen guys, stuff like this is subject to change in this business right now. And I only say that because if they couldn't get these, I promise you they'll put something else in here. So you wanna make sure that you check www.buyerlyrv.com. You will see actual pictures of the actual units on our website. So be sure to check it out and see maybe how it was equipped. Cause just cause this one has an RV fridge in it today, doesn't mean that six months from now, you might not watch this video attached to a unit that doesn't have this and has something else. So be sure to check out the pictures on whatever you're looking at. And of course you can text in, email in and call in or come by and one of the salespeople can answer your questions and, and take care of whatever you need. Now, uh, the bunk area, we call these double over double bunks because they're a lot wider than the old one, the little, what I call submarine style bunks we have to have. Really nice windows here. So we've got outlets and we've got lighting and we've got windows and ventilation for both the top and the bottom bunk. Again, check out some of the competition. You won't see a window on both. This is a big window too. Really, really nice big windows. That's you know, all over this thing, there's big windows and, and you want that natural lighting, right? Um, remember that storage area down here that we can get to from outside or actually right here too. This is a wonderful place for gear. Um, into the bathroom, this is good too, guys, because you know, it can be challenging to do a decent sized bathroom when you've got the double over double bunks in the back of the camper like this floor plan has, but you can see that we have a really, really nice shower with what, this is, we call it tub surround, even though it's not a tub, but it gives us our shelves uh, to put our stuff in. We've got a really, really nice little um, uh, shower curtain here. We've got a nice foot flush commode, right? We like foot flush instead of hand flush because we don't have to reach over. This, you know, okay, nice little medicine cabinet. We've got this, wow, it's a little thing, guys, but you, this faucet, to be able to get underneath this easily as opposed to have it like right down here, I can tell you that that's great. That's a little thing, but it's one of those things where it's like, my camper doesn't have that and I wanna replace that faucet. Um, having a window in here is absolutely awesome, you guys, because we want to try to minimize moisture in a camper, okay? And so by having the window right there and the fan right here when I'm taking a shower, that really isolates that steam and everything in the bathroom uh, so that you're not getting it into the rest of the camper and you're, you're minimizing that, which is kind of what we're always trying to do. I say that because, you know, a lot of us will put a desiccant in here to absorb moisture when we're not using it so that it doesn't, so that the, the humidity level stays low. So now, 
On the wall right here, we have a digital wall thermostat. This is gonna operate our air conditioning and our heat. We have ducted heat. It's actually not ducted in the floor. It's ducted in the side, which I kind of like because I don't have those vents. I gotta worry about getting dirt in. I've got ducted air conditioning. And then this, gosh, if you wanna, you know, if you've ever seen any of my other videos, I, use, I like to use the term tons of storage. I don't know if it's ever applied in a travel trailer more than this, you guys. This is amazing. So we've got this humongous storage area deep wide obviously and one of the best parts about this so if you look in almost every passport that's like ever been made go back to one 10 years old you're going to open a cabinet and there's going to be a cabinet that has shelves that you can remove because you could use it as pantry or you could use it as hanging storage so i can literally remove this top shelf right here pull this out Look at the size of the closet, okay? I mean, I've got a lot of people in here, right? I've got people in bunks. I got people sleeping on my dinette. I've got a queen bed up here. So I've got room to actually hang everybody's clothes. There's not many campers out there that are like that, you guys. And then over here, okay, so if we're gonna sleep a lot of people and feed a lot of people and store a lot of stuff, we need to seat a lot of people, right? And sleep a lot of people. So um, nice U-shaped dinette. The bed will go down onto this lip right here. Check out the RV Basics video on dinette conversion, okay? Um, to make this into a bed. Um, but uh, this is, so we're not gonna do it in this video, but this makes into a really, really nice bed. I say a nice bed because how long it is, okay? Most regular booth dinettes, yes, they convert to sleeping, of course they do, but they're not as long. A, 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 a full-size adult can't necessarily lay all the way across, and on this bed they can. Um, oh gosh, these guys are like the king of drawers. Look at this thing. So it's useful storage underneath your dinette, right? Always is. It's a lot easier to get to it like that than having to lift the cushions and everything, right? Um, look at what they did down here too. This is so awesome. Just, I mean, here's my shoes are gonna go in here. My, I mean, all kinds of stuff. This one's gonna have stuff that I can reach in from outside and grab. I mean, this is absolutely awesome. You know, and then of course, we've got more hanging storage on the side of the bed, all right? Both sides there. We've got tables here for whatever you might need next to you while you sleep. The couch, well, if I'm gonna, it's time to go to bed, right? I just, I'm gonna take the couch. It's a jackknife sofa. I could sleep like that if I wanted to, but why would I do that? when I've got a nice clean bed right here. Real easy, guys. Voila, look at that. So, you know, this thing, if you think about it, I've got one, two, three, four separate sleeping areas. Each one of these sleeping areas can accommodate, a lot of them can possibly accommodate more than one person if you need to. Um, the 221BH password with the slide out, you know, really, that's why we have all this open room. I have room for countertop extensions and queen beds and booth dinettes and double over double bunks, guys. This thing is absolutely awesome. Again, don't forget, this is a lightweight trailer. You don't need to have a humongous truck to pull it. So all the specs and everything are available at www.barelyrv.com, like I mentioned earlier. So be sure to check that out. Be sure to check out our other YouTube videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.